This video was made to end several Pokemon debates. What is the best and worst Pokemon of each category? Well, with Scarlet and Violet just around the corner, I'm going to answer this question to wrap up Generation 8 with what I think the best and worst Pokemon of each category is. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. So there comes a time in a man's life where male grooming becomes important. And considering that the majority of my audience are young male adults, I figured Manscaped would be a great product to help you guys out. Manscaped sent me their Performance Package 4.0. That's perfect for the job. First up is something called the Weed Whacker. Now would you rather painfully pull out your nose hair? Or use their professionally made nose and ear trimmer and feel no pain at all? I think I know what I'd pick. Along with the Weed Whacker is something called the Lawn Mower 4.0. Now if you want to shave anywhere correctly, the last thing you want to do is mess up because it's going to ruin your day. Which is where the Lawn Mower 4.0 comes in. This thing is perfectly made for grooming, above and below the belt. It has a guard on it to make your skin protected and comfortable, it's waterproof, has a 90 minute battery, rechargeable so you can take it anywhere, and the best part, it also has a little LED light so you can see what you're doing down there. Not only that, but the package comes with ball deodorant and toner, which are vegan, sulfur free, and make you smell fresh after everything's done. The package even comes with a little bag and a pair of boxes. So if you want to be as safe as possible when it comes to male grooming, please do check out the link in the description, where you can get 20% off using the code AURA20. And with the holidays coming up, even if you don't need male grooming, but are still searching for a cool gift for someone who may want to invest in male grooming, consider Manscaped. Thanks so much for sponsoring this video. Now let's start. Best and worst Pokemon of each category. The best starter Pokemon is split into three separate answers. First we have Litten, the best first stage starter. Great solid design, near perfect. Then you have Toracat, the best middle stage starter. Another great solid design, near perfect. And then you have the best final form, Infernape. Perfect. For the worst starter, and before I say who, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I had to pick one. It's uh, the, the, the worst, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's Meganium, I'm sorry. To me, it's just really underwhelming. Bayleaf is way cooler. I have to pick one, so I'm sorry, it's, it's Meganium. For best shiny starter, it's Greninja. Very closely followed by Fennekin. In my opinion, it's by far the best black shiny, and what makes it is the red tongue and the white accents. Just amazing. Fennekin is also really good. Kind of reminds me of Ninetale shiny. The worst shiny starter is Blaziken. Torchic has a pretty good shiny. They fix shiny Combuskin. Blaziken's shiny still looks ass. His mega kind of sucks as well. The best legendary Pokemon is still Mewtwo. It's the most iconic. I highly doubt it will ever be topped. Still holds up to this day. The worst legendary Pokemon is Calyrex. This is mainly due to me not finishing the Sword and Shield DLC, so I have basically no attachment to these Pokemon. The horses are cool though. The best shiny legendary is Ho-Oh. I don't think it could have got a more perfect color combination. The silver on the beacon tail as well. Just an amazing shiny. The worst shiny legendary is Tornadus. More so than its other genie counterparts, its shiny really doesn't change much in both forms. And those are the worst kind of shinies. If we're not including shinies that don't change, then Solgaleo takes the cake. Yuck. The best legendary trio is the Creation Trio. Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. All great Pokemon, great typings. They just work great as a trio and represent what they stand for really well. The worst legendary trio are the Regis. Some people are probably expecting the Genies, and that probably would be the case if they didn't have forms, which make them, in my opinion, way more interesting. The Regis are just a lot more bland. Like, I don't dislike this trio, but if I had to pick one that's the worst, unfortunately, this would be it. The best shiny legendary trio are the Legendary Beasts. Entei Shiny is good, the other two have great shinies, and overall, as a trio, I'd say these are the best ones. The worst shiny legendary trio this time are definitely the genies. Thunderous shiny is actually pretty decent. The other two shinies though really bring this down. Terrible. The best pseudo legendary is Dragapult. This Pokemon is just so cool. I love the little dragon turrets on it. It's just so well designed. What a great Pokemon. The worst pseudo legendary if I had to pick because they're all pretty cool is Salamence? I mean, again, it's cool, but of the pseudo-legendaries without a dragon, it probably is my least favourite design-wise. The best shiny pseudo-legendary is Metagross. It's just, overall, one of the best shinies in general. I don't think there's any arguing with this. 
The worst shiny pseudo legendary is Garchomp, but that one's obvious. So apart from that, it's Komoo. Just yuck. The best mythical Pokemon is Marshadow. Of all the small, cute mythicals, this is hands down the best one. It was also a boss in the I Choose You movie. Marshadow is awesome. The worst mythical is Fione. Is Fione a mythical? I don't know. Either way, it's definitely the worst one. The mythical with the best shiny is Celebi. Hands down, best pink shiny. Works incredibly well. Looks awesome. The mythical with the worst shiny is not Marshadow. That shiny is actually pretty cool. It's a tie between Manaphy and Fione. You can see a difference, but barely. Man, poor Fione. The best Ultra Beast is Kartana. I love the idea of a Pokemon based on Origami. I also love how tiny it is. Just a really cool mon overall. The worst Ultra Beast is Feramosa. It is pretty weird looking, not gonna lie. Literally looks like something that was just stretched out really far. The best shiny Ultra Beast is Naganadal. Considering that it looks like a giant wasp, what a perfect colour scheme for it. The worst shiny Ultra Beast is Buzzwall. I understand it's probably going for a Bane Venom type look, but out of the shiny Ultra Beasts it still looks the worst in my opinion. The best Mega Evolution is Mega Lucario. I made a video about this a while ago, and my opinion still hasn't changed. The worst Mega Evolution is Agron, one of the very few Megas that in my opinion looks way worse than its original form. The best shiny Mega is either Mawau or Gardevoir. I can't pick, they're both awesome. The colour switching on Mawau works really well, and the black dress and Gardevoir, they're both great. The worst shiny Mega is Latias and Latias. One, the snot green look does not work well on them, and two, why are they both the same snot green? Especially when the original forms have different shiny colours. Like, you can barely tell them apart. What a letdown. The best Gigantamax form is Orbeetle. It's a giant UFO. That is incredible. The worst Gigantamax form is Coilossal. It's just bigger and fatter. Not a fan. The best shiny Gigantamax form is Corviknight. The yellow accents really stand out here. One of the only Gigantamax forms that really improves its shiny in my opinion. The worst Gigantamax form is... Uh, I don't know, Pikachu? Doesn't look that different from its regular shiny. The best Alolan form is Raichu. Closely followed by Marowak. I love that they took the surfing Pikachu idea and implemented it here. Works so well. The worst Alolan form is Alolan Dog Trio. This Pokemon sucked when it came out. It still sucks today. Alolan Dog Trio sucks. The best shiny Alolan form is Marowak. Closely followed by Raichu. I love the purple added to it. Really glad they went this route instead of the horrible green regular Marowak has. The worst shiny Alolan form is Graveler. This is a very, very unpleasant looking shiny. I will not go into more detail than that. The best Galarian form is a tie between all three legendary birds. They're all awesome. I can't pick which one I like more, so I'm plumping them together. The worst Galarian form is Slowpoke, just because it doesn't change much. Don't really dislike it, I just had to pick a worst one. The best shiny Galarian form is Ponyta. Green and yellow isn't my favourite combination of colours to use, but in my opinion it works really well here. The worst shiny Galarian form is Weezing. I've talked about how bad the shiny is in this video right here, and in my opinion it's still god awful. The best Hisuian form is either Zoroark or Gudra, closely followed by Decidueye and Typhlosion. I'm sorry, I love them all. Zoroark and Gudra specifically though, I love their typings. Zoroark looks amazing, and even though Gudra doesn't change too much, I thoroughly enjoyed using it on my team. The worst Hisuian form is Avalug. It doesn't really improve on its original design that much. It's just pretty underwhelming in my opinion. The best shiny Hisuian form is Zoroa. Both Zoroa and its evolution have amazing shinies, but I think I slightly prefer Zoroa's. The worst Hisuian shiny is Wydea. Why on earth would you carry on the horrible snot green colour that Stantler had? Really doesn't work well here either. The best Pikachu clone is Pachirisu. Pachirisu won the World Championships. It is objectively the best Pikachu clone. There is no arguing here. The worst Pikachu clone I was tempted to give to Mimikyu, since again, it's not a Pikachu clone, but that would imply that I don't like it and I love Mimikyu. So the worst Pikachu clone I guess is Amolga. Just not as into it as the others. The best shiny Pikachu clone is Dedenne. It did Alolan Raichu shiny before Alolan Raichu, being a chocolate mouse. Looks great. The worst shiny Pikachu clone is Pichu, for obvious reasons. Again, shinies that don't change, suck. 
The best unknown form is unknown A, because A stands for awesome. The worst unknown form is unknown F, because F stands for fail. The best spinder pattern is this one. This spinder pattern is the most aesthetically pleasing. It's really good in my opinion. The worst spinder form is this one. This one is not aesthetically pleasing, and is the worst looking in my opinion. The best alternate form overall is Shaman Sky. Very different looking from its original form, and in my opinion looks way better. Very cool. The worst alternative form is Pumpkaboo, because they literally don't change at all except their size, so... The best fossil Pokemon is Tyrantrum. It's a freaking T-Rex. Need I say more? The worst fossil Pokemon is Arctivish, because I spent almost a week or so shiny hunting for one and it took freaking ages, went way over odds, and even after successfully hunting for it and using it on my team, I still don't like it. The best shiny fossil is Tyrant and Tyrantrum, closely followed by Amora. Tyrantrum being the best fossil and the best shiny, what a great Pokemon. The worst shiny fossil is Shieldon and Bastiodon. Again, barely changing really doesn't help here. The best Rodan Pokemon is Bidoof. Although if I was being serious I'd probably say Alolan Rattata. The worst Rodan Pokemon is Greedent. F*** this Pokemon. How'd it get into Unite? I don't know. Either way, it sucks. The best shiny Rodent is Bidoof- no, I'm kidding, it's not Bidoof. Is Alolan Rattata. Really glad it doesn't have its regular form shiny. The red looks really good here. The worst shiny Rodent is... Bidoof. Again with the shinies that barely change, they don't look good. The best regional bird is Staraptor. It's been the best regional bird since Gen 4. Probably gonna stay that way for a long time. Corviknight's pretty close though. The worst regional bird is Unpheasant, specifically the female form. It's just the blandest looking bird by far. It also looks like it shit itself. The best shiny regional bird is Toucanon. Look at that beak. That is amazing. The worst shiny regional bird is Tranquil. I try not to be too hard on green shinies, but this one is just kinda sickening. The best regional bug is Orbeetle. I have never used a regional bug on my team, and Sword and Shield was the first one, and I was not disappointed. What an amazing Pokemon. The worst regional bug is Wurmple, simply because you can't control what it evolves into. That's dumb. The best shiny regional bug is either Scallopede or Orbeetle. Both of them, amazing shinies. Can't really pick which one I like more. The worst shiny regional bug is Burmy and Wormadam. Shinies that barely or don't change suck, and they always will do. Game Freak, you fixed Combuskin shiny. Please consider fixing some others. The best HM mule is Smeggle. Smeggle can learn every HM, so it's obviously the best. The worst HM mule is Cosmog. It can't learn any HM, so it's the worst. The best shiny HM mule is Smeggle. Not only can it learn all the HMs, it also has a nice red to go with it. The worst shiny HM mule is Cosmog. Not only can it not learn any HMs, but it barely changes at all. That sucks. The best evolution is Leafeon. I've explained why Leafeon is my favourite evolution in this video here, and is still my favourite today. The worst evolution is... Uh, I don't dislike any of them. Uh... I'm gonna skip this one. The best shiny evolution is Umbreon. There's no surprise here. The changes are very subtle, but it somehow still looks amazing. The worst shiny evolution is Leafeon. Yeah, I'm sorry to do this to you, but you really do have a bad shiny. The best baby Pokemon is Riolu, closely followed by Munchlax. This one's a no-brainer. Almost doesn't feel like a baby Pokemon. Easily the best one in my opinion. The worst baby Pokemon is, uh, I don't know, Clefer or Smoochum. Not a fan of either of them. Their evolutions suck. So yeah, they both bad. The best shiny baby is Tyrogue. As I said before, blue and grey, really great combination here. Big fan of the shiny. The worst shiny baby is either Alekad or Pichu. They're both terrible, just as bad as each other. The best Vivian is the red one. The worst Vivian is the green one. The best Furfro is the red one. The worst Furfro is the green one. The best Arceus is the red one. The worst Arceus is the green one. The best Silvalli is the red one. The worst Silvalli is the green one. The best Alcremie is the red one. The worst Alcremie is the green one. The best Minyar is the red one. The worst Minyar is the green one. The best Flabebe is the red one. The worst Flabebe is the orange one. The best Zygarde is the one that looks like it's from Power Rangers. 
I, I like that one, that one's cool. The worst one is the little cell, because who remembers this thing exists? The best Oricorio is the red one. Also has the best shiny. Surprisingly looks good. The worst Oricorio is the pink one. Looks significantly worse than the others in my opinion. The best Lycan Rock is Dusk Form. The perfect in between of each form. The worst Lycan Rock is, I don't know, the draw between the others because they're all good, okay? The best Necrozma is the giant dragon because not only does it look really cool and have a good shiny, it was a hard as hell battle. So yeah, this Pokemon's cool. The best Pokemon from the anime is Ashes Tauros, number 17. If you want to know why this is the best Tauros, check this video right here. The worst Pokemon in the anime is Ashes Tauros, this one. Uh, I don't like this one. The best shiny from the anime is Noctowl, arguably the most iconic shiny from the anime, being one that Ash caught. And for the longest time, I, along with maybe many others, thought this is how Noctowl was supposed to look. The worst shiny in the anime is Genesect. Genesect's actual shiny is really good, but the movie with the shiny Genesect sucked. The best hat Pikachu is the one with the Lucario hat, because it's Lucario, so that instantly makes it the best. The worst hat Pikachu is the World's 2022 Pikachu, because I encountered so many World's 2022 Pikachus, and not one was shiny, so that automatically makes it the worst. The best non-Pokemon is Monica, for obvious reasons. That, and if you look at the art for it here, you can see the whole body. That's pretty funny. The worst non-Pokemon is Transport. What the hell is this teapot looking ass? The best non-shiny is the purple Kecleon from Mystery Dungeon. This really should be Kecleon's real shiny. Looks great either way. The worst non-shiny is the red Gyarados from the anime, because it's not a real shiny. It's just a magic up that kept its red color as it evolved. That's cheating. And finally, the best overall Pokemon is still Infernape. Probably will always be my favorite Pokemon, and if you want to know why, you can check this video right here. The worst Pokemon is Greedent. F Greedent. The best shiny Pokemon is either Greninja or Ninetales. At this point, I can't really choose which one, but if you want to know why, check out this video right here. And the worst shiny Pokemon is still Galarian Weezing. Why? Because not only does it look awful, Weezing had a perfectly good shiny that it decided to ignore. What a disappointment. And that's my best and worst Pokemon of every category. Or at least, a lot of them. Do you disagree with any choices? I'm sure you do, so be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy and want to see more Pokemon videos in the future, especially for Scarlet and Violet, please do leave a like, as it does help the video out. Subscribe for more videos in the future, and until next time, thanks so much for watching.